If you know that two polygons are similar, you can solve problems based on that information. So you're going to be able to solve for unknown sides of shapes if you have a triangle that's similar to it. So the way we're going to do this is to set up proportions and solve for the unknown. So this is what a proportion could look like. We're just going to review how you could solve for the unknown. So if this was x here, one way you might have been shown is you can cross multiply by the two numbers and divide by the one opposite of the x. So this would be x would equal 10 times 7 and then divide that by 5. So x equals 14. Another way is to do it more algebraically. To cancel that 12 off, I would multiply the tops by 12. These 12s cancel. And side AB would equal 5 times 12 divided by 6, which is 10. So that's a couple ways of solving a proportion. Now if we look at an example, uh, the more difficult part is to make sure you set up the proportion correctly. So choose one of the shapes to keep on the top of the proportion and the other shape to put on the bottom of the proportions. So if we're trying to find x right here, you could put x on top. Okay, This side corresponds with this side right here on this shape. So I'm going to put 8 on the bottom. That's going to be the same as, and I'm going to choose my sides that I have two of them. So since x is on the top here, I need to put this 4 on the top over here, 4 over 12. So now I'm going to solve this proportion. So I could times both sides by 8. My 8's cancel, and x ends up being 32 divided by 12, which is 2.6 repeating. So this x, this side, would be 2.6 repeating centimeters with that proportion. Okay, let's solve for the question mark now. So this time I have this shape on the top with this question mark. It matches up with this 6 over here. That has to be the same proportion or have the same scale factor as this 12 to 4. So I put 12 on top on this one, 4 on the bottom on this one. So that ends up being, when I solve it, I could cross multiply, divide by 4, and end up getting 18 centimeters. So this question mark, this would be 18 centimeters long. So I can use a proportion to set up that using the corresponding sides. You just have to make sure that you set it up correctly. So let's do this example. If I wanted to find out for x, x matches up the corresponding side of 5, would be the same proportion as 2 over this 10 right here. So if I were to solve for that, 5 times 2 divided by 10, x would equal 1 centimeter. Which makes sense because on this shape here, this side is half of this side, so on my similar shape, this side would have to be half of that side. I could also think about this with a scale factor. So I could say, what would I have to do to get from 10 to 2? Well, that would be divide by 5, so I'd have to divide this by 5. I could get the same thing right there. So both ways kind of works. If I were to do this, so find the question mark, you could use this and this to find the scale factor and use that to solve the problem, or you could do a proportion. So the question mark, this unknown side, match it up with this side of 7. Now I have the question mark on top, so this one has to be on top, over 13, so I could go 7 times 
divided by 13. And the question mark would give me 10.5. So you could try these on your own. Pause the video and I will put the answers up in a second. Thank you. 